What's happening, YouTube? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm having a great day. Alex, you having a good day? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we got a couple reasons why. Some people got us some board games. Yeah. Who is one of them? Angie. Angie Moore. Thank you so much. Uh, we don't know when it's arriving, but we did see that you got it. The other one, uh, another subscriber did get us a game. It was a mystery person. I, I don't know who, who it is. Um, but today, we're going to talk about a couple things. At the end of the video, we're going to talk about the five things that all aquarium plants need and how you can give it to them without artificially uh, doing it. And uh, first, we do want to thank all of our new subscribers, being Tino, Happy One, Matt, Ali, Large, Large Bite, Bite Pet. Pet, Kevin, Amber, Superwater, Justin, Jenny, Bon Jovi. All right. What do you think the odds are that I got the actual Bon Jovi? You know who Bon Jovi is? Oh, we're halfway there. Oh, we're sitting in a chair. Don't know that song? Oh, okay. He doesn't know that song. All right. Uh, so th I want to thank everyone who uh, wished us the best and gave us positive vibes for my surgery. Um, it did go well. How does my foot look? I mean, you got to look at it. No. Does I showed you a picture. How does it look right now? Does it look like a good time? No. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like a good time. Uh, and I did get uh, several uh, subs that had asked if I had got in an accident. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself first as to how we got to where we're at and doing all of this and um, what's going on with the whole surgery business. So I was born uh, with an autoimmune deficiency. I get sick very easily and it affects my bones unfortunately which causes surgery. Makes my bones a little brittle um, and because of that they kind of just break um, for no reason and yes I have to have surgery I will have more in the future and uh, I'm on Social Security because of that um, it's been that way for about six years so anyway the first couple years that I was on disability I didn't have a hobby um, it started in 2016 and it was kind of driving me mad not having anything to do well uh, several years ago, my wife bought Alex here a fish. What kind of fish was it? A beta. It was a beta. What was the beta's name? Donut. Donut. Well, Donut only survived about a week, maybe two weeks. Wasn't very long. Uh, and that's because, yes, we killed him. We killed him about five different ways. Uh <laughs> One, he was put in a one-gallon plastic tank with no filter, no heating, um, and a one little cube of an LED light. Well, at, at the end of the week when we found him dead, and yes, I did find out the several ways he died, but I, I want to explain to you how he had died that started all this. When, when we came home and he was dead, he had dug himself head first into the pebbles. He buried himself head first. And that that to me reminded me a, a lot how a dog, a pet dog would, would die. When dogs know they're going to pass, they don't want to die in, in front of their owners. Um, they will typically find a private spot in your house and die alone. Or if you let them out into the, your yard, they'll go hide somewhere and die. And that showed me that this fish was doing the same thing. It was hiding, you know. It didn't want us to see, see it that way. Um, the water was too cold. It was 65 degrees. It had ick and swim bladder disease. Um, so all of that <laughs> started this chain of events for us where I had to learn everything. And it started with plants and... Um, you know, a, a fish isn't just a fish. If you have a pet, 
Okay, they have feelings just like any other animal, and they need to be taken care of adequately. And, you know, plants are something that they do need. So, we're going to talk about the five things that all aquarium plants need and how you can get what they need without having to do it artificially with uh, injecting CO2 and whatnot. So, uh, five things that plants need. What are they, Alex? Light, nutrients, oxygen, CO2, and water. Right. All right, now I'm going to explain to you how CO2 happens in your tank without um, injecting it artificially, okay? Because CO2 is already happening. Uh, all right, Alex, so what do plants do during the day for your aquarium? Plants during the day release oxygen and take in CO2. And during the night, uh, they release CO2 and breathe in oxygen. Uh, that's correct. And CO2 doesn't just happen from the plants themselves. It also happens from your inhabitants. And um, during the day, when plants are photosynthesizing, that's when the oxygen release is happening. Okay. Now, to get more CO2 in your tank, uh, obviously, the more plants you have, the more CO2 that's going to be happen happening naturally, but also a lot of agitation. Okay, now uh, bubblers do it, all right, and uh, HOB filters do it, and also if you have one of these, these are uh, water jets, they're very cheap, and they just suction cup to the side, you plug it in, and it'll keep your water moving. You want your water in your tank always uh, moving and being agitated to get more of that CO2 in there. Now, let me explain to you how plants work in general, uh, you know, so you know where to place them. Now, taller plants, because all plants want light. They want to get to the surface of your aquarium to get that extra CO2 and to get closer to the light. Now, shorter plants, this is why people have problems carpeting with short plants if they're not doing CO2, because they can't, uh, they can't make it that deep in your aquarium. They need to be closer to the surface so they can get closer to the light and closer to uh, access to CO2. Now to get CO2 down towards the bottom of your tank, you need to have a lot of agitation happening. The more agitation happening, you'll get it. You'll get that CO2 down to the bottom of your tank and also the brighter the light you'll have, it'll get down to your tank. Now. Obviously, if you have lights that are too bright, this is going to affect the plants that don't need bright lights. So you have to take that into consideration. So uh, think about all of that when you're thinking about placement of plants. Now, you can make an elevated slope in your tank where you can build up your, um, your substrate to where it is higher in one area, and you can do an, a, a short plant you know, substrate and slope your way down to having the taller plants that are capable of reaching the surface and grabbing that CO2 access that's happening outside of the surface of your tank. Um, and then nutrients, obviously you, you provide that and um, oxygen is happening from your plants and it is happening through the gas exchange, you know, um, through the surface, through water agitation and all of that. So, and I will leave links. Um, I'm not a fan of uh, filters that are sponge filters. Uh, I, I don't believe they are adequate um, because they can't be modified. And uh, so anyway, I will put links and no, I'm not affiliated with, with any of these. I'm not sponsored by these companies. I'm gonna make it easy for you of products that I know work, uh, that I personally use, for filters uh, that can be modified and uh, water jets that I personally use and bubblers that I personally use that all help in the gas exchange needed for your plants. Uh, all of that will be in the description and then of course the link to our wish list to more games because we do have some exciting news. We're going to make 
a, a separate channel, right? And what's going to be on that channel? My yep. brother. Mm-hmm. Adam. Playing games, board games. Right. Every game that we receive, we will shout out to who it is. This will be a separate channel that we're going to link to this one, and it we will do an unboxing, uh, a game review, you know, and then rate it on its fun level. And now Adam will get to participate in videos. You know, he he's not as enthusiastic uh, about the aquarium stuff, so. Uh, but he does love board games. All three of us love board games. And Angie, we're going to be, the first video will be for the game that you got for us. So, uh, and we don't know what game that is yet. It is left a surprise. Uh, so, and that is it. That will wrap up the whole video. And if you made it to the end, we greatly appreciate it. And if you're having a bad day, you're down in the dumps. What should they do, Alex? Get up and do something about right. it. Right. Get up and do something about it. Don't sit there in the dark and dwell on it. Um, this is coming from someone who does have uh, mental health issues on top of everything else. And manic depression is one of them. Uh, you know, so you need positive things happening in your life. And, you know, yes, family and friends do help. But also having uh, a positive hobby is very beneficial to your mental health and I highly recommend aquatics uh, and thanks again we'll catch you next time